Uh, Sebastian, um, when you were approached to return to the Captain America franchise, what was your reaction? Excited, thrilled, glad it's finally happening. Waited for it for a while. Um, when did we start? Did you um, feel added pressure because of all the people following the comics obsessively to portray the character in a certain way? I mean, maybe maybe the first for the first movie I did, um, but you know, this time around, I was sort of I had dealt with that on the on the first film, and and um, at least from what I had read, everyone was pretty positive about that. So I, I wasn't too worried this time. I don't know. I I was I was pretty clear on on what I could do and couldn't do. And what you did was amazing. Um, Talk Thanks. about the, the look of the Winter Soldier. It's really compelling. How did you feel when you first put that suit on and transformed into that character? What was that like? Well, it, it, there was a confidence from it, for sure, and uh, that sort of only informed me that I actually should do less, <laughs> not think so much and just kind of let it speak for itself, you know, the way that this costume was, was designed. I mean, it was pretty much right out of the comic book, so... Um, I didn't really recognize myself. That really helped me. Um, I felt like I had I had license to sort of move a certain way. Or um, yeah, I, I think all of it were, was a, was a positive transition. You play this character, this villainous character, in almost such an effortless way. Does that mean you like to explore that side of Bucky a little bit more than the other part of him that you portrayed in the first film? Um, well, I was more concerned with the fact that I knew that he he had to be a realistic threat to some extent. Um, I never approached it in the sense that he's a villain or he should be a really villainous character, but that he was a threat. And so um, I felt like uh, I, I really needed to find a way to, to, to just translate that to the screen as much as I could, and I guess you know, I guess it, it, some would interpret it as being really villainous. Uh, but um, sometimes, you know, you, you, you're not always sure, you know, if if you're doing the right job. You're, you're kind of discovering that along the way. There were times where I was really confident. And there were times where I was, well, I hope, I hope what I just did really worked out because I have no idea. It was great depth of character for someone who is portrayed as a villain. So it really works well. And Part of the reason nice. is, like I was saying, the look of the film, but also these incredible fight scenes and the background rivalry. What did you do to train for these fight scenes? Well, our stunt team was uh, incredible, and they um, and the Russos were very were very specific about having these fight sequences. And everybody was talking about this movie, The Raid, and uh, just there's a there was, that there was a that there should be a level of brutality to the way that we were fighting um, that we didn't see so much in the first movie and we really needed to see in this film. And, um, you know, you have to have patience. The only way to do it is you just have to keep repeating it over and over again, day after day. It's it, The whole thing is actually, can't be that spontaneous. It has to be really worked out and calculated because otherwise people get hurt. What were some specific new skills or a name of a move that you learned that you were just blown away that you could master it? Um, I, th there was, wasn't any name names of moves. Um, just yeah, just that close combat stuff and and some of the knife, the knife worked, which worked sometimes and other times didn't for me. I mean that, that was really hard. That was really really intricate stuff. When you watch the knife portion, it's edge of your seat. When audiences are watching that that combat, it really adds a lot. Um, Working with the Russo brothers, you were mentioning, how was it? I know that they brought a really, they wanted to ground it practically, and did that help inform your character? How was it to be directed by them in their style? Well, it was, it, first of all, we should, we should really know it was a hard job for them to come in. You know, I mean, the, we already had established the movie a certain way, and then they came in. They hadn't worked with, with any of us before, so they were getting to know us as actors, as people. How do we respond to what? And, uh, and at the same time, they were, they were trying to continue um, what was already established. Uh, but they, they were very specific, and they, were, um, they really trusted us. I mean, they gave us a lot of space. They gave me a lot of room to kind of 
because I had I had I had some time to wait and prepare, and um, you know they were just like go and do your thing, make the choices, show up on set, and and then um, you know they let me execute. So so it was it was a good collaboration in that sense. Is there a certain direction that you're kind of hoping your character will go in the future? Kind of going back to his more honest soldier World War II roots, or um, going back to the more villainous side? Well, I don't know if I really necessarily have much of a um, choice in that scenario. Um, from like a standpoint of, uh, you know, what I'd like it to go that way or not, but also just because his story is in the comic books. I yeah. mean, you, it's gonna go, if it's gonna go anywhere, it's gonna go the way it is in the comic books. And, and these guys, Marvel is, you know, so faithful to those things, so it really all depends, but. I'm sure you're looking forward to making it more your own, whatever direction it goes. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. I mean, it already feels like that a lot. Absolutely, and um, one word or a few words to describe your experience working on this film and looking back on it now that it's finished. Um, uh, always, always guessing. <laughs> Um, always guessing, never fully settled, um, but it ultimately in the end, you know, a fully exciting experience based on that. Because you never knew, you never knew what the next day was going to be like. Um, and uh, so it was, it was a very day by day experience and that kind of kept you on your, on your toes. Thanks. Thank you.